she starts um i want to measure anna and the first mark i'm making right here is the top of her head you know i'm just simple make a mark like this first before i can go for details and this point the more in important part is measuring okay so i look at um, anna right here and i notice that this is the hairline okay and i'm gonna measure the distance from from her face to uh maybe the top of her uh her top uh, her t-shirt to see how far the, the the drawings would be so if i if i want to do um a portrait of anna uh, right this i just simple guessing at this point and uh, if i can guess this is her her chin the bottom of her chin Left measure. Then I notice that this distance from here, from the hairline to the uh, on the bottom of her chin, the distance here equal the distance from the top of her t-shirt or her tank top. So I can make a mark here. So I know that this is her face. This is top of the hair. This can move when she come back. That this thing gonna change. So this is the whole from her hairline to the chin. From the chain to uh, uh, where it touch uh, the neckline of her tank top. Okay, so that's what I have so far. So now what I'm looking at is the central of her face. Uh, eyes and I look a little bit tilted. She not looking a hundred percent straight to me. So she's slightly tilted. So I'm gonna make this symbol like this for for now. Just this is the central line. If she looks straight at me, so that distance from here. From her cheekbone to her cheekbone gonna be equal, but she is not. She look tilted this way, so so I make this distance a little bit bigger, and this a little bit smaller. Okay, uh, let's measure uh, the distance from her hairline to the middle of the eyebrow, from eyebrow to bottom of the nose, bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, I noticed here is her, the distance from her hairline. Sorry, hairline to um, the middle of her eyebrows, and the middle is up to the bottom of the nose, and divide the face there by three part here. Then there's distance here, from the chin to the bottom of the nose equal from the eyebrow to the hairline but though distance is slightly longer than the bottom of the nose to the eyebrow okay so, so that'd be good right here so we know this the first part and the third part are equal and the middle part is slightly shorter or slightly smaller okay so that's what we have in here okay to make symbol mark like that for now Okay, the next step is I'm going to measure from the cheekbone to cheekbone here for the side of her, her face to see how compared to this distance here, compared to this, okay? Let me measure. Okay, the distance here and this here, the almost equal from the cheekbone here to the side of her face. Because she look at this way, so... This side is slightly smaller, okay? So I'm guessing for now I might have to correct them. But let me make sure that this distance here, come here, so let's make a line mark here. This should be a rough here. Then it's just simple, I have this, all the lines, so a little marks like this for now. Okay, since I have this, um, this uh, all the landmark uh, to the layout, I a little bit a little bit more confident to connect the other the landmarks here and see how it go. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just symbol draw the hair like here. You know, I'm using mostly all straight lines. Okay, the cheekbone here I'm just symbol make the the cheekbone here cheekbone. Okay, 
Then from the bottom of the nose, I notice she's touching the bottom of her ears in here. The make a little landmark here, that's the ear. From here, I can know that this is jawline. I'm very light touch in here. I'm not hurry, I'm just simple make landmarks. Okay. And we have a lot of things to correct too. But now I'm just simple make all the straight line first. Then I will connect them like that. You see, this part look, you know, building her face. That she wants to come back here. And from this is the, the middle of her hair, but her, her hair like it's a little bit tilted and come back this way. So we have a little bit unusual here. So that's her character. I have that thing. Looking back here. All motor straight line and the same will go down. Okay, from here I symbol do like here. You see that almost everything is straight line, no detail. I'm building just like building a house. I mentioned that a lot. Like what we do here is we working from from general to specific okay nothing in detail here just symbol line like this okay then i notice here is the beautiful relationship of the neckline here i'm just guessing from this point okay and from here i just said a line a brace the tail coming out from here That's a beautiful light of her neck lies here. Look inside that, you know, looking like beautiful light here from her hair. Just simple straight light for now, and I will have time to go for detail. But now, I'm building something simple like this. And it's just about over seven minutes. Uh, what I have here is just all the line, okay? And a beautiful. Uh, So don't don't hurry and draw the details like the eyes and the nose. We, we will have time for it, but now don't do that, okay? Like here, symbol. Top of her hair. And now she's a good friend of me, and she's been posing for me for many years. Um, I know her for over 10 years now, and she, um, a beautiful model, she's been model for many, so well-known uh, photographer. And herself, she, uh, she traveled the world and do all the things she like. Uh, she's a very good photographer herself. Um, uh, she would travel to Asia and she also compete um, on fighting um, boxing. So this is an amazing woman. So go back to the drawing now. You see, I have just about less than 10 minutes I building that shape of her head. Okay, so now I'm looking for, um, you see, I've still saved her face now. I'm building outside first. I just saw that shadow here. It's very beautiful. It's just a shadow of her neckline here. It makes symbol look for the shape here. Back now, make a symbol like that for now. You know. Then I look for the little shape triangle here. Come back to the hair. That look at the neck line here. Oh, the shoulder. And look another triangle here. 
and this line here is the neck you know I'm building no detail just think about the shape first okay so I also I know that this the relationship here she tilted so that the line the top of her tank top here uh, and I can see the relationship here in the hair like the, the end of her hair her, her tail her brace here and I can have like that And from here, I can see that this is her shoulder here. Pull to the hair and come back here. Now the deep tear of her brace here. So I'm building things around this and I might have to come back and measure, make sure all the uh, proportion is right. But for now, just straight line like that. And you can see I have, I have less than 10 minutes I built in this, okay? So I'm kind of enjoy uh, this, what I have so far, um, time for me to go a little bit more detail in her face to see how all the of of you know the um of the feature look like at this point. I'm starting with uh, the bottom of the nose here. You know, here you go. What are the chin? Then I know that she's tilted. Then that is even straight like here. Just make the symbol line for now. Okay. And from here, I have shape of her eyebrow coming. This is the side of her nose. Then on this side, I notice that this done here, this done here. Make sure. They look good together and I have a symbol using that line and come back here. And from here, you get a little shadow of her eyes. You see, I'm not drawing any detail. Think about shape and form. This is the eye socket here. No detail, okay? From here, bottom, I see top of her nose, coming back here. And from here, I would check like the central lines again. Okay, this is central here. You come along from the nose, coming back. Now it is coming to the mouth here. Come from the middle you know, of the chin. I notice this distant form the the lip open mouth here that middle line here we got a wet wet line is almost divided by half distant from bottom of the, up the nose to bottom of the chin it happy right here so I move them up a little so it's just about this here for now and that her upper lip, uh, upper lip, and this is the filtrum, and this is the lower lip. There you go. Then this her. Okay, I feel like I need to make that part slightly longer, but I will make a mark here, and I will make sure that I feel like her chin is longer should be a little bit longer like that. So we can remove them right here. Okay. So because I'm not focused on the detail at this point, so make sure that, you know, just make the shape for first. That's better. 
symbol makes it slightly longer. Okay. Then from here, I will start drawing the shadow. You can see that that shadow of a node falling to this side. Then just symbol makes the shadow shape. Then from here, the same, the cheekbone. The line here, the lower lid and the line is connect here. This is the bottom of the eye socket. Make sure I have that. Uh, I make sure that I have. We have teared up here. Equal on both sides. Make sure that this connected to this side. Okay. See that is the side of her forehead. It's, it's very important to understand the plane as a human head too. Okay, in this case, I can symbol draw some plans here. This is uh, the side of her forehead here. Okay, that is the mental here. The cheekbone here, I can feel that. From here, I can see that her, she's a her jaw light is good, but it should be a little bit lower here, and that's where she lies. So, more like that, okay. So it's about time for take a little break and I will be back. Okay, to continue, I um, will uh, shading a little bit of the shadow here of the side of her nose, the corner of her eye, side of her face for now. To make a little bit darker the pencil i'm using here is from generals and it's a 2b medium i will start with 2b medium because it's not too light uh, it's soft enough but it's not too dark it's perfect for me to make any correction if needed um, the paper again i mentioned uh, before but i mentioned again it is a uh, cross um a 400 400 series um uh, this is one is the color here is called steel gray Okay, 400 series. So it's not that thick. It's not that thin and the surface here is not that smooth But it's not that rough. So it's, it's perfect. I love the paper. So again, this is a scratch more color steel gray and uh, artist series 400 series, okay, I would write it down on the screen for you to remember, okay I'm setting in the uh, the eye socket a little for now bottom of the nose bottom you know, under her the chin just thing like that shadow neck just symbol a little bit shadow here and there you know and then continue to work now okay so I'm gonna go a little bit more in details um, I'm going to start with the nose again. Make this life a little bit 
stronger and I see the top of her nose is more like more like this come back and we uh, soft the tip of my pencil a little bit better From here, I can see the eyebrows. It's just looking for that light here, or more like this. Look at the angle here. Okay, and from that angle here, I can see the angle here. All we balance, okay, human. So we balance the face. Come more like that. symbol shading them to make them a little bit darker not too dark okay have to be careful with uh, the value here this line should be more like this line come back like that but I will have time to adjust it so for now like that's for now a beautiful top of the nose here to be rounded like that okay I slightly see uh, the side of the nose here the shadow for now Okay, you can see that I'm starting to build her nose right now. At the top of the nose, more like a little bit brown is here. And I have the side of the nose here. Make all the blends. So I move back to the eyes, okay? Uh, for me, I like to work on the nose first uh, because I think that's the central of the, the human face. It's kind of easy for me to balance. Uh, but it's up to you. You don't have to do the nose first. You can do the eye first. Uh, it's a fine too, okay? So uh, I will move back to the eye. I have the tit up here. Um, just make sure that it is in the same level. Uh, you know, because most of us, when we, we stuck with the drawing sometimes, one eye up, one eye down, so it's happened all the time. You know, it happened to me too. It happened to a lot of my students. Uh, because sometimes we, uh, especially people walking uh, when you sit down, you don't see a lot of our, um, uh, other detail. I like to stand when i painting or drawing because I can come back, step back a few steps to see, okay? This is the eyes here. You can feel the her fate. Come back to stood up here. I am looking for the symbol shape of her eye. She looked too just like me. Like that. Beautiful shape line. I have to see a little bit of the upper lid here. Like that. For now. And I'm looking for this side here. Like this for now. We have time to go deeper in this uh, in detail, right? So just looking for this this one here, the the tear up, and the end of the eye. Look like in the same line, same the 
like this on the same level this line gonna be This is the shadow. Okay, make them slightly darker here. And this line here, you can see that very strong, strong, very strong shape in here. I mean, the eyebrows should be a little bit closer. I'm always looking for the relationship be between those shading, you know, those shapes. It's the most important. I can look at just the abstract shape here, you can see that. So from here, I can see the shape of her forehead here. Come back here. Back to her mouth, this line is very strong. There's a few drum. There's a few drum in here. I love drawing, I can draw all day. I think for me drawing is, is more uh, more fun than painting. Uh, you can just start from nothing to something. Um, and if you really want to be a serious artist, and I, I suggest you learn a lot of drawing, okay? So I look at the upper lid here, and just allow her mouth to more like this. Come down like this, like a, more like, this that corner of her mouth should be lower. So. That's her character. I can see that. I remove that line before. So it start kind of look like her. I can see that line here related to that needle of the mouth here. This side. Come back and this come like that. And come back here. Same thing here. You see that is more like that and that well. Okay. Should be we can shade them a little bit here too. And I feel that lip here should be a little bit thicker. You can see that is a like that. And this beautiful lines in here of her chin. You know, sometimes I <laughs> I am uh, teaching, and I when I'm so focused. It's really hard for me to say things or, 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 or talk, you know, because I'm afraid I'm losing my um, focus. But if it is a job, I'm teaching, I have to say, I have to tell my student or you what I'm doing. Otherwise, you say, what are you doing? So sometimes I'm mumbling. So please forgive me, okay? Um, this side here. like that 
come back to her. Okay. Make sure I think this lie from here I can see that straight here would be So that's a, one of the reason I like to stand drawing because I can see a lot of different parts of the face. Otherwise, I might get lost. Okay, and come back to the chin here. Got the chin more. Come in. This part of her jaw. lower connected to the chin okay okay for now like that so now the neck like here looking for shape here like that and now I can see a bit closer I can see more of the structures of the neck here it's more like that same thing with that there's a shadow here make them darker Okay, and this line here, this line should be more, here you go, and I can see the, the slides that come along, I have a cheekbone here, come back, I can slide it for now, it's a little bit sort of corner of the mouth here, Also, that's the, the muscle here touching the corner of the eye socket. So it's going to be darker here inside of her mantle. All right. So here I can kind of got more confident to go a little bit stronger here to the hair like here. Uh, a lot of things going on here, but I'm going to make it very simple. Uh, here can I see that's her ear here that's the jawline okay it's, it's good to start look like her uh, I can see that the hair is coming from here the hair can come in from here Okay. Should make a symbol for now for her brace. I just try to make a symbol, okay. This one should be make it a little bit darker here. You see, I love the pencil too because it's a, uh, not too not too dark, not too light. It's perfect for the first step. You can make see the her hair coming this way, coming back like this, coming back here. So
again just i'm still not go for detail i'm still want to save um the detail later now i'm looking for continue to looking for shape and form beautiful shape of her cheekbone right here lie and you see that the muscles in here too corner of the mouth I'm not hurry to be to draw detail yet. Okay. Um, beautiful next lines in here. That's my tip up here. Just block in the hair a little here, like this. Block it in a little. I have this beautiful line. I love that line here. Now I can see a little bit more relationship of her shoulder here. shoulder here I don't know how much time I have to working on more of this but I think that's like beautiful and this is the hair and that is the her tank top here it should be can see that line shadow for into here like that okay um i'm pretty happy with it so far uh let's simple make the iris here to see how it's go make sure I should make a symbol very lighter don't make too crazy about it you know this is just the way she look she kind of look this side but she's not quite looking at me so good you can see that she I'm gonna go for detail it on, but not to make sure I raise a little bit darker here. So, so far, uh, I think I'm very happy with the foundation. And uh, before uh, she take another break, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this brush here. This is actually for watercolors, uh, but it's very soft. And I use them too sometimes. I want to make my drawing softer. I have a little touch like this, you know, like this. Take down, here you, here you go, see. Little touch soft on the line so I can come back and work in on detail, okay, and draw a little bit better, okay. To continue, I will uh, start working a little bit more in detail. I uh, and starting with the the nose again, and I still using the three uh, B medium. Okay, yeah. when I change the pencil, I will let you know. On the nose, I think a beautiful light here. I'm drawing the shadow at this point. See her eyebrows. Black. 
lock in the shape. Very light touch, you can lock it in a little. Okay, I use my finger to blend a little here. I think that's why it should be slower. Make this side a little bit darker. Put the shadow here. Okay. okay let's start with these eyes here. Straight line. Okay. And this. Coming up. I can see her upper lid here. Make sure the tear duct is uh, in the same level here. So this one should be like that. I'm very focused at the port, very focused about the eyes here, so. You're gonna see a little bit of upper lid here. Just like here, should be my eyebrow. Put the eyebrows here. Come down here.
to make the iris symbol like this for now, okay? We have time to work in on the details. Put it boys and make a symbol. And it's kind of start look like her now. And I have time to correct all the drawing later on. This is a lower list here. should be a slightly bigger Make a shadow here. Okay. And cut it. Okay. I think this nose should be a little bit darker here. nose is not quite right so should be something a little bit wider it's a notch over here more like this and just create the shadows in here This side is darker, so I'm gonna slightly make it darker here. <laughs> we got the lighting and hitting on this side, so this another side is darker. But now, okay. Then I move on to uh, the lips. She has very distinctive love here. Darker here too. Okay. 
I love this brush, soft on my drawing. You know, soft on the edges, what I like. So now I can be more confident to go on the shape of her face. A little bit darker here. You see, I'm still still, still uh, using the same uh, pencil to be medium. I don't think we need to use a lot of different pencil here. Maybe later on I use something a little bit darker. Um, but at this point, I'm very happy with it. I don't think we need something darker than this. It's here the necklace is beautiful here. Come back here. We're going to shading. The hair a little bit darker. Hey, this top look like her a lot. Um, now I'm gonna move on to this side. You know, sometimes you're working from life, uh, it's very hard to see other details and there's nothing wrong to uh, come closer to look at the model, okay? Uh, I always come very close to look at my model and see if that's how they look like. Okay, so in this case the same, uh, I come in very close to look to Anna face and see how she look like, you know. Even I draw her all the time, but I still have to look at her face close to see the details. Okay, so. I also like to make the brace a little bit darker. I think it might should be a little bit close here. More natural, yeah. Just like them up here in this side. Oh hand. Yeah. More like that.
pretty good so far and before uh, we have another break I would like to use some white chalk pencil um, this also from uh, white chalks here if from uh, generals I just like to make some highlights just very simple for now be before I go for detail just a little bit of highlight you know to see how it works You can use cross hatching like what I'm doing here. Okay, and there's a highlight in the nose here. Beautiful. Just a little bit of cross hatching here. Uh, I can see that a little bit highlights on the eye. To make a little bit of hair. You see, look at me now. Because you see that. Lower lips here. Just symbol like that for now, okay? I love this side, this her character here is beautiful. And it's a little bit soft. This pencil a little bit waxy. Uh so don't don't overuse them, okay? Just use the tip of the pencil for now. Okay. Beautiful highlights in here. Just a little like this, then I will come back and work in more on details. Time for a little break. <laughs> 